Are you using large language models or LLMs in your work and seeking the most effective way to leverage the power for your application? Then this video is for you. Let's dive into LLM application development, comparing the path of building your own framework from scratch with utilizing established platforms like Langchain, Lama Index, and OpenAI Assistance. The first obvious choice is to construct your own framework from the ground up. You need to code everything. This route, while demanding in terms of technical expertise, time, and resources, gives you invaluable freedom and control. Plus, you can easily fork and edit open source approaches as we did with our AI tutor with Buster, a useful repository if you aim to build retrieval augmented generation or RAG systems. Imagine implementing the hide technique, which generates synthetic documents based on the user's prompt and uses the generated documents embedding for retrieval, which may be closer to a data point in the embedding space than the original query. It's a challenging technique to implement from scratch, but it's possible to incorporate it in frameworks like Lama Index and Langchain in one line of code. If you aim for a very long-term product that you can fully own its IP and updates, then going from scratch is the way to go. The results will be the perfect fit for your specific requirements, but you will encounter many challenges that you didn't expect, and it will take much more time to develop. If you do not have unlimited time and resources, then you may want to take a look at pre-built platforms like using OpenAI GPTs. If quick deployment and accessibility are your priorities, this path is the go-to. OpenAI assistants, including GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT-4, provide a streamlined and user-friendly experience. You can build very powerful apps super quickly, but they will be quite dependent on OpenAI, and you will hardly be able to bring unique value. This is definitely not an ideal long-term option, but it's a powerful way to quickly build a proof of concept and show it to others. They are perfect for those eager to integrate LLM capabilities swiftly and efficiently into their applications without the complexities of building and training models and frameworks from scratch. Plus, the code interpreter, knowledge retriever, and custom function call they provide allow you to build a quite powerful app, especially if you can code your own APIs or use external ones. The cost, while present, is generally more manageable than undertaking the entire development process on your own as well. It's gonna cost you a few dollars to make it, and then it will depend on how much you share it with others, obviously. But what if you need something more tailored than off-the-rack solutions, yet not as time-incentive as building from scratch? This is where Langchain and Lama Index come into play. But you need to understand the difference between both. Langchain offers a powerful and flexible framework for building applications with LLMs. It stands out for its ability to integrate seamlessly with various LLM providers like OpenAI, Cohere, and Hugging Face, or your own, as well as data sources such as Google Search and Wikipedia. Use Langchain to create applications that can process user input text and retrieve relevant responses leveraging the latest NLP technology. A key advantage of Langchain is its support for prompt engineering, a crucial aspect of working with LLMs. By constructing effective prompts, you can significantly influence the quality of the model's output. Langchain simplifies this process with tools like prompt templates, which allow for the easy integration of variables and context into the prompts. Additionally, output parsers in Langchain will transform the language model's text responses into structured data like JSON objects, which you don't have to code yourself. Langchain is also quite useful for applications requiring maintaining a user's context throughout a conversation similar to ChatGPT, like a medical chatbot or a math tutor, for example. They also recently introduced Langchain Expression Language, or LCL for short, a coding syntax where you can create chains by simply piping them together using the bar symbol. It enables swift prototyping and trying different combinations of components. They also introduced the LangSurf feature, designed to facilitate chains deployment process using FastAPI. They provide great features like templates for different use cases and a simple simple chat interface. In summary, Langchain is a nice middle ground for a balance between customization and ease of use. Its flexibility and in integrating with different LLMs and external data sources, coupled with its user-friendly tools for prompt engineering and data parsing, make it an ideal choice for building a wide range of LLM-powered applications across various domains. Another advantage is their debugging tools that simplify the development process, reducing the technical burden significantly. 
If you are curious about Langchain, we shared two free courses using it in the Gen AI 360 course series linked in the description below. In contrast, Llama Index excels in sophisticated data handling and retrieval capabilities. It's particularly suited for projects where you must handle complex datasets and use advanced querying techniques. Llama Index's strength lies in its robust data management and manipulation features, making it a powerful tool for data-intensive applications. Practical terms, Llama Index offers key features such as data connectors for integrating diverse data sources including APIs, PDFs, and SQL databases. Its data indexing capability organizes data to make it readily consumable by LLMs, enhancing the efficiency of data retrieval. This framework is particularly beneficial for building RAG applications, where it acts as a powerful data framework connecting data with language models, simplifying programmers' lives. Llama Index supports efficient indexing and retrieval methods, better chunking strategies, and multimodality, making it suitable for various applications, including document Q&A systems, data augmented chatbots, knowledge agents, structured analytics, and etc. These tools also make it well suited for advanced use cases like multi-document analysis and querying complex PDFs with embedded tables and charts. One example query tool is the sub-question query engine, which breaks down a complex query into several sub-questions and uses different data sources to respond to each. It then complies all the retrieved documents to construct the final answer. As I mentioned, the Llama Index framework offers a wide range of advanced retrieving techniques but more specifically, there's the recursive retrieval, enabling the application to navigate through the graph of interconnected nodes to locate precise information in multiple chunks. They also introduced the concept of Llama Packs, a collection of real-world RAG-based applications ready for deployment and easy to build on top of. These were just a few concrete examples, but there are many other techniques that they can facilitate for us, which makes the library really useful. In essence, Llama Index is your go-to for a RAG-based application, also offering fine-tuning and embedding optimizations. And the best thing is that it's free, open source, and continually developed. Each of these paths offer its unique set of advantages and challenges. Building your own framework from scratch gives you complete control but demands substantial resources and expertise. OpenAI assistants offer an accessible and quick to deploy option suitable for those looking to integrate LLMs without deep technical involvement or to create a quick proof of concept. Langchain provides a balance of customization and ease of use, ideal for developers seeking flexibility in their LLM interactions in most cases. Llama Index stands out in its robust data handling and retrieval capabilities, perfect for data-centric applications like RAG. In the end, the choice boils down to your project and the company's specific requirements and constraints. The key is to align your decision with the project's goals and the resources at your disposal. They each have a purpose, and I personally used all of them for different projects. We also have detailed lessons on Langchain and Lama Index with practical examples in the course we've built in collaboration with Towards AI, Active Loop, and the Intel Disruptor Initiative. I hope this video was useful to help you choose the best framework for your use case. Thank you for watching.